Hi guys, in this series of videos I'm going to be showing you the C major scale and then I'm going to show you 10 melodies from real songs that you'll recognise that you can play using this sequence of notes. Now to put this into context, the C major scale is the foundation of all pop and classical music and is even what rock and blues styles reference for their scales that they use for their riffs and melodies. Now this scale is all the white notes on the piano so this is absolutely crucial if you want to be able to play any melodies or even riffs and licks on the guitar and truly express yourself in, a, in the right way. Um, all the songs that we're going to be covering in this course will showcase how we turn this sequence of notes, this scale, don't be scared off by the nasty scale word, uh, we're going to turn it into real songs, real melodies and get you using it right away. It's not essential that you play all 10 songs, though if you follow it in order, the early ones in the playlist will be easier and they'll end up getting harder. But you can just pick your favourites and for example, we have some songs in here which have been requests already, uh, such as the melody to Lean On Me by Bill Withers, which was in the beginner's course for the chords lessons. Uh, right up to Let Her Go by Passenger, which is one of the harder ones at this, lesson, uh, this level, but is still really doable for you guys. So don't let any of that put you off. Um, take your time with this, and this is appropriate. As soon as you've made a start of the beginner's course that is chords-based that I've got online on this channel already, you can break away at any point you feel comfortable and have a go at these lessons. So in this first lesson, I'm going to be teaching you those first five notes of this major scale that I demoed at the start of this video. Let's get right in for a close-up and let me show you how to play those. Okay guys, so in this first video we're just going to be covering the first five notes on the thinnest two strings. And then in this next video we're going to be covering the full octave, which is all eight notes of this major scale, on the middle four strings and some of the songs from the list will use notes from the full uh, middle four strings and some will just use the thinner ones. It will start off with the thinner ones and then kind of work our way to those thicker strings for this full <laughs> So to put your major scale into context, the major scale is all the white notes on a piano or keyboard or it's also referred to as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do um, which is, gives you an idea of what it should sound like. And we're going to be first of all covering the first five notes of that on the thinner couple of strings so that we can play these melodies and songs that I have lined up in this playlist. So that would just be the first five. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. And that's what we're going to cover in this lesson first of all. So we have your first finger on the first fret of the second string, otherwise, otherwise known as the DO note. DO. And then we have your middle or your third finger on the third fret of that same string. So DO, RE. To, because this can be quite a stretch for beginners, I want to show you that uh, we can have your hand and your fingers on an angle pointing towards you, which makes this stretch way more doable. You can see that my hand is kind of pivoted at my knuckles, and they face towards me, which makes this stretch possible. If you're going for this in kind of the more classical way like this, that may be too much of a stretch at this stage. So I'm going to encourage you to go the kind of blues or electric guitar way, which would be playing it like this, which could make it far more easier to do. I'm also using a pick or a plectrum, um, but you can also use your first finger, your first digit, to play each of these notes. So first two notes, first finger to third or middle finger to the open E string. That's your Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Fourth note, first finger, first string, first fret. 
So that's do, re, mi, fa. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then the final note is your third, again, or middle finger, whichever one feels more comfortable for you, at third fret on the thinnest E string, which is sol. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. In Western music, in um, Britain and America, this is more commonly known as our C major scale, and we refer to them just as the single letters from the C notes. So, C, D, E, F, G. And that just follows our alphabet from C. In other languages around the world, that's been translated into this Do, Re, Mi to make it more universal. But we're going to treat it as both Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol and C, D, E, F, G. Very handy to be able to uh, kind of use both. And then we want to be able to come back down that set of notes also. So we're going to come down from the G or the Sol in reverse order. G, F, E, D, C. Okay, and we're always using the first fret and the third fret when we do that. So try not to think about that middle one, just think about the other two, and one of them has a dot on it, so this can make it an awful lot more visual for you. Try and make it as visual as possible. Um, so just a really slow recap, and let's play it together if we can. So let's give it a go in two, three, four. we turn around the other way but we're not going to play this G note again so we're just going to go straight to that first finger three four and back down and ideally what we want to do is be able to play this in a cycle if we can do that we can definitely play any of these melodies that we're going to go for so we go up and what goes up must come down and if I keep that going without repeating any notes, so I just immediately turn around and go the other way. It sounds like that, and that's the first five notes of our major scale. Now, what we want to do sound-wise and technique-wise to get it sounding as I am there, um, we want to try not to lift, we, we, first of all we're going to have one finger down at a time, so I've only got my first finger down and then only got my third or my middle finger, doesn't matter which, uh, which is ever more comfortable to you. And we're going to keep one finger down until that next one goes down, because if we don't, we end up with this big gap, or even worse, we get other sounds happening, okay? Um, and to stop those other sounds happening, I'm also resting the palm of my hand on the guitar here, but you can also rest your little finger if that's more comfortable for you on these, for these, picking these thick, thinner strings. So just to recap, we want to try and eliminate any space. And that's the best way to get this scale sounding great. Try and eliminate any gaps. So the acid test here is gonna to be to try and play this four times through in that cycle. So let's have one go at that now. If you'd like to just watch it as a demonstration, that's totally fine too. And then you'll wanna get straight on to learning the first few songs in this playlist. So after four, we're going to go for the C major scale four times through, either as a demonstration or for you to play along with at home. In two, three, four. And again. And one more time.
And for the final time. So the test to make sure that you know this so that you can move on to those songs and have a go at any of them and play them really well is to be able to play this scale four times through without repeating any notes. Play it in what we call a cycle, so it just repeats. So as a demonstration of that, it would be great to be able to play it nice and slow. One cycle and I've started the next. And if that's something you can do, almost irrelevant of speed, you know, don't try and play it too fast and make mistakes. You want to go as slow and as even as you can kind of stand to get the technique there. Keeping those fingers down and trying not to have any spaces between your notes and that's going to sound really great. Um, so as soon as you've got that, get on to the next video and we'll learn our first song which is Hot Cross Buns, um, which is pretty much the easiest thing to play with these single string notes and it's going to be really cool for you. And then we have Ode to Joy and Falling Slowly, um, which are already filmed as those first lessons in this playlist. So get on to those and um, hopefully that will be something that uh, serves you well.